everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla if you're new here and today I'm going to be talking about how to fall back in love with yourself tip number one is you need forgiveness okay you need to forgive yourself it doesn't matter if it's something that you might have done in the past it doesn't matter if it's maybe someone mistreated you or treated you some type of way that you didn't like or if you allowed a bunch of BS from someone that you never should have it doesn't matter what it is just forgive, okay? Forgive yourself for even putting up with that stuff. Forgive yourself for anything you've ever done to yourself or to other people. You need forgiveness because the heaviest weight to carry is when you're just like, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened. It all happened already. Now it's time to let it go. When you forgive not only yourself but other people, you're going to feel like a weight was literally just lifted off your shoulders. You are going to feel so much better about yourself. You're going to feel so much more free and honestly i think that's what a lot of us need is just to forgive now you can do your shadow work if you want to like dig deep and everything totally up to you i've heard that stuff is insane like it's pretty eye-opening but i think you really just need to learn forgiveness and of course it is always like super hard to just like forgive and i'm not saying forgive and forget you should never forget what you did and what they did because at some point like you never know you know what i mean like you should just never forget but at the end of the day it's done it's over with you know you don't need them in your life anymore if that's what you do choose to do but forgive and get that off of you because the only person that's hurting now is only going to be you because you're the one that's going to carry all of that weight stop comparing yourself now, I feel like so many people do this. We see a girl who's really pretty and we're like, oh my God, girl, like you are so gorgeous. Like, you know, and you start feeling insecure about yourself a little bit. And the thing is like a lot of people feel threatened by someone else's beauty. But the thing that we all need to learn is that someone else's beauty is not an absence of our own. If anything, like we can all be even more beautiful together. Like let's team up, like do each other's makeup, like, you know what I mean? Like, let's all be friends. Like, we can, you know? You should never be sitting here comparing yourself because you're only going to bring your confidence down. And 99% of the time, what's so funny is that when, say, I see someone who's literally gorgeous, they're probably looking at me thinking, wow, she's really pretty. And I'm thinking, wow, she's really pretty. But we're just kind of just both like, you know, like, oh, pretty. And then now I feel like crap. Like, they're literally probably thinking the same exact thing about you like you do not have to worry about it you are literally gorgeous she's literally gorgeous like can't we all just be beautiful come on we need to stop comparing ourselves comparing yourself is the worst thing you can do to yourself because it's like you don't even see your real true potential you don't see you know how good you look you don't clearly feel good anymore so you really need to take a step back and realize they're probably thinking the same thing and if they aren't either way i wish them the best they are super beautiful i am super beautiful and just say like affirmations to yourself if like you're really insecure like i look beautiful today i'm so beautiful i'm gonna have a great day and it might seem a little corny but honestly i think they actually kind of work change the way you talk to yourself and I don't mean like don't self-reflect because self-reflection is very important, but I'm going to give you an example. For example, if you don't get something on your first try and you're like, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. I can't do anything right. Uh, are you talking about this thing? Or are you talking about everything? Because you just said you can't get anything right. And then like it stems like I didn't do this today. I didn't do this, 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 this. And now I can't get this right. I can't do anything right. And it's like it wasn't that deep like you just you know may not have gotten this but like but what happens is we get so frustrated throughout the day that that one thing is literally like things just pile up and now the thing that we couldn't do at the end of the day everything from that day is just like on our mind and we're like i can't believe like i'm so stupid i can't do anything you don't need to talk to yourself like that you are never going to grow as a person if you talk to yourself like that. You need to self-reflect or just don't do anything, okay? Do not talk to yourself in a negative way. Self-reflection 
for a situation like that would be like wow like I've had a really bad day but honestly maybe I really haven't been trying as hard as I probably should and my judgment might be clouded right now and my patience is probably really clouded right now because I just have so much on my mind maybe I'll take a step back and then I'll try again in a little while you had accountability because you admitted I don't think I've been trying my best today and you know I could do better and then you're gonna figure out a solution which is let me take a step back and then I'll come back at this and I'm gonna do it stop chasing this is a huge one stop chasing your friends family relationships I don't care who it is stop chasing I don't mean that you have to be a lonely person that you can't talk to anyone that's not what I'm saying I'm saying it's pretty much like an anxious attachment style like you are overbearing you're calling them like a thousand times a day if they don't text you back in five minutes then like you are calling them calling them calling them checking their location where are you at what are you doing like calm down that is going to drive people away so fast you think that you guys are getting closer by doing that in all reality you are completely pushing them away people like when people focus on themselves and yeah like you can be clingy and stuff like cute but don't sit there and actually like overbear people to the point where they just want to block you because especially in a relationship that's not going to go well and they're actually going to think you don't even trust them and while you're like no like I just want to talk to you 24 7 they're like well you must not really trust me it just really rubs people the wrong way and I personally would try your best not to chase anybody and honestly when you focus on you the focus completely becomes you so if your goal is to you know get them to want you more if your goal is to get them to spend more time with you the best thing that you can do for you for your relationship or for your friendship is to actually just focus on yourself because people see that you know you want to do good for yourself they're going to realize that wow she sees value in herself she sees what she can do and that is really attractive to people and they realize like wow she has potential she clearly sees it she has self-respect and she focuses on herself and now i kind of want to focus on her so just think about that and please 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 stop chasing people so i already kind of spoiled it but focus on yourself like I said, when you focus on you, the focus becomes you. So take your self-care days, do your nails, your toes, you know, have your hot baths and showers, have your hot bubble baths, you know what I mean? Take your vitamins, um, find a hobby that you like to do, whatever like really makes you feel so much better about yourself, definitely tap into that and, you know, just really focus on bettering yourself, Focus on loving yourself and treating yourself like you are worthy of all the attention you are giving yourself because a lot of the times I feel like me personally, if I don't feel like I'm worthy of the attention that I need to either put into my videos or put into my self-care, it's like, you know, I won't do it. And of course you need to work around that because you are worthy of it. You just may not feel like it that day. And you're like, oh, I'll never get here. I'll never get there. So there's no point. You don't feel like you're worthy enough. That's the issue. Whole time, you really are worthy. You know what I mean? It's just your attitude. You need to change it. Stick to your word and your boundaries and learn how to say no. If you have self-respect, you are not going to let people sit there and walk all over you and tell you to do this and to do that, okay? If you don't want to do something and if it's literally like crossing your boundaries no i'm not doing it that's that no and you can be the bad person i'm not saying that in their eyes you're gonna be a good person because people tend to hate people who tell them no people tend to label them as the bad person when in all of reality they're actually the good one because they are sticking to their morals they're sticking to their boundaries they learned how to say no and if you don't like that someone has self-respect and has boundaries then don't be in their life. It's as simple as that. If they respected you enough, they would realize that you're saying no for a reason. Realize that you have always been there for you. Now, this is kind of crazy because we always think about like, this person has always been there for me. That person has always been there for me. But like not once do we ever mention like, I have been there for me. 
and it's crazy because it's like you really have been there um from birth and then all the way up until you die and then after that too like forever and ever will you always be with yourself and that is insane all those times when you were angry or upset you had no one to comfort you you actually did you had yourself and i know it seems like that may not be enough sometimes but it really is think about it you know your favorite color you know your favorite food you know your favorite drink you know your go-to orders when you go to mcdonald's burger king wendy's the restaurants applebee's you know everything about yourself you are literally your best friend so why aren't you pouring energy into your best friend if you had a best friend you would tell them i love you so much every single day you would tell them you are great you're amazing you can do anything you want to do why aren't you doing that with yourself tell me why because you have been there more than anybody will ever be there for you yet you refuse to even think that you're worthy of something that you're worthy of having that career that you're worthy of self-love you are the number one person that you should think is worthy of all the amazing stuff because you have always been there for yourself you have always maybe not loved yourself or treated yourself the best but you have always been there for yourself and deep down you have always loved yourself no matter what be calm this one worked very well for me and i have to use it a lot say that you're in a really bad situation where someone's trying to fight with you or they're being super rude to you all you need to do is be calm i'm telling you so like if someone is being rude to me and like i don't know why just be calm if someone's screaming at you and like you want to scream back so bad Take a step back, take a few deep breaths, and just think, like, I don't want to be in this situation right now. If you can, go to your car for a few minutes until you calm down. Maybe run to the bathroom if you don't have anywhere else to go. Wherever, if you, like, can't leave the situation. And um, really just take time to yourself for a minute to gather your thoughts. And when you come back, you can say... What you needed to say but say it in like this kind of tone like really calm really soft tone where even if they were the issue and maybe they're still yelling stay composed don't get out of character okay do not get out of character that's what people want to see people want to see you get out of character don't do that say hey that made me really uncomfortable i really didn't like what you did back there if they're still sitting there screaming if you can leave the situation go ahead and leave if not, maybe put some headphones in or just say, okay, I tried to talk to you, you know, um, clearly now's not a good time and just walk away. Being calm is also really good because when I feel angry and mad at like the world, if something's going wrong, be your own peace. Being your own peace is just like, at least like if I go home, at least if I go and I close the door, I still have peace like if you're angry and upset too they already got you out of character or whatever the situation already got you out of character if you're mad at something or if you're mad about something and there's really you know you have to take the steps to come back down to be mellow and being angry really 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 drains your energy and it's probably not going to make you love yourself very much if you're like constantly angry and mad probably gonna like make you display some hatred for yourself and for the people or the situation so the best thing to do is just try to stay calm stay composed um don't let people get you out of character and this last one is literally just pretty much what the other one said which is watch how you react to things and what i mean is like do not react that very second like give yourself time and space to react when you're going to instantly react just like that you're gonna make a mistake um it could be a mistake of maybe fighting with someone else it could be a financial decision it doesn't matter whatever it is it is most likely gonna be a mistake if you're mad never ever ever make a choice in the heat of the moment when you're angry or when you're not level-headed you need to be level-headed and chill to be able to make a decision a proper good decision so that is all i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really enjoyed making this video because sometimes i forget all these things until i actually write them down and put them into a video and say them out loud i'm like wow okay like i may have just found like the answer to all my issues 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will have my Instagram and my TikTok right in the bio for you guys. And I'm coming out with lots and lots of videos. So I'm so, so excited to share them with you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day.